Welcome back to Fergie Talks, episode two. Today, we're interviewing Rash Ketchum. You know, the hero, the savior, that kicks ass, am I right? He also defeated them dead biters I've been hearing so much about. Something about the Book of the Dead and all that fun jazz. So anyway, Mr. Rash Ketchum. Anyway, how's my hair? Nice. You know, they say that you and I kind of look alike. I mean, I personally can't see it at all, but, um, but that's what they say. No, I don't see it. Like at all, okay? Nah. I don't see it. Cool. Dead biters are real, okay? I've killed a ton of them. Yeah, I, 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 I get that. I mean, dead biters are, are bad. And you, you've killed a lot of them, I know. Okay. <clears throat> well, anyway, let's get back to the interview. Okay. Question one, Mr. Rash. Yeah, I got an eyelash, so what? Anyway, question number one. Is Rash Ketchum your real name? No, it's Jeff. I'm kidding. Yes, it's Rash Ketchum. No, it's not, okay. <clears throat> okay, so a lot of our sources say that you're the problem sometimes like i mean yeah you're a hero and all but it, you know how do i how do i put this help me out guys okay so if you make a mess say you're mopping and you knock the mop bucket over but you make the mess then you clean up the mess and that saves somebody from slipping and hurting themselves I mean, do you see the picture here? I'm, I'm not following, like, at all. Just saying. I don't understand your metaphor. No, I don't understand. I don't get it. Do you like the Book of the Dead? Do I like the Book of the Dead? No, it's why I'm holding it like this. I mean, psh, I'm holding this because I don't want it to like come alive and kill everybody, including you and all your crew people and everybody else in the world. I, mean, I have killed dead biters. What part of that do you not understand? Come on. Sheesh. Do I like the Book of the Dead? Hell no. But I've got to keep it. I've got to hang on to it because if anybody like you or anybody else catches, get a hold of it. <sighs> no, I do not like the Book of the Dead. Okay. So I guess that's a no. Um. In your Evil Dead Bro series, how did it start? Well, you should know. It started with the chips. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Um, <clears throat> you know, bro, bro chips he bought, you know, he bought. Yes, the, the bro bought. The chips that my bro bought, yeah. <clears throat> you didn't buy, I mean. I don't have any uh, anything else to say about that. I don't know if it was was it him was it him or was it his mom? Because I, I mean sources say it was his mom that bought the chips and just let him bring them down there, and then you ate the chips. I don't know if it was his mom. Maybe. Either way, the chips was there and I ate some. Sheesh! What's the big deal? If you bring the chips for everybody to eat. Then everybody's going to eat them. Anyway, yeah, it started with chips. Go on. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Whew. We're off to a really good start, everyone. And I thought the killer clown was crazy. <laughs> you're not crazy. <clears throat> you're, you're, you're cool, man. I mean, remember, we, we look alike. I mean, they say we look alike. I don't, I can't see it again, but again, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. Some people say that your Evil Dead Bro series is either went too far or went too long and needs to put what they call stop on those. What is your what is your process on that? What do you think? To the haters out there, no, I don't think that it has went too far or too long. In fact, there are still several episodes to go before it ends. And we're talking about maybe, maybe doing a full feature or two to wrap things up. You know, like The Walking Dead was supposed to do. And then they went around and did more seasons and stuff instead. Not dissing on it or anything, I'm just saying. But, yeah, more features. Episodes and then features. Okay. So we might have a few more to go and maybe then a feature or two to wrap up things. Put a stop to what you would say the dead biters. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not saying this. Bob! Tell Bob I'm not saying this. I'm gonna start writing these questions myself. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Rash, what is your favorite car? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, it's gotta be a Ford Focus. Mm. It's gotta be a Ford Focus. Yeah, Ford okay. Focus. Okay, um, if you had a weapon, what is your favorite weapon? This puppy right here. Anybody like to yeah. um, keep security See, from close? Now, I can, I can snipe from a distance. See, bang, bang. And those dead biters wouldn't see it coming. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So yeah, this butte right here. Oh yeah, I call this Shiva, the dead batter slayer. When she's hungry, she shoots them in the face. Bang. Yeah, I know the killer clown brought a machete to the set last time. All right, whatever, we're, going, we're moving on. Rash, your last episode you were chilling in the woods and all of a sudden was attacked by some dead biter thing and you, you broke out in song. Um, it's very catchy though, by the way. I mean, Rash, the American badass, right? Yeah, okay. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, it, it was just different for the series. Uh, I, I've, what I've seen, people really enjoyed it. Um, it will, will there be more? like that in the future so what i like to sing sometimes and yes it is a very catchy tune you know rash american badass yeah you should check it out to say it's fun and yes plan on doing something like that in the future as well you know jack black did it so just saying in the Evil Dead Bro series, what is the end game? If you're allowed to talk about that. Like, what is the end to this heroic uh, adventure that you have uh, brought us on? Well, I'm not trying to spoil the ending or anything, but, uh, you know, uh, since the books have been written, you know, the hero, the savior, is going to definitely slay the Hell King himself and rid the world of evil. Send it all back to the pits of hell and then nuke the pits of hell till it explodes. Probably die in the end. You know, get the true death. Sleep and all. Eternal sleep. Anyway, that's about what I'm thinking anyway. 
what we're gonna do. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Intriguing. Intriguing. Um, well, at least we're not pulling a George R. R. Martin. <laughs> uh, no copyright issues here, guys. Anyway. Okay, I think there's like two more questions. Um, what is your favorite dinosaur? T-Rex, of course. I can see that. And last question. Would you ever collab yourself in any other works of art? Like, um, well, for an example, the Killer Clown series that's been going on. Would you ever like collab with that to like be the hero in that story? Or, uh, or another, um, I've heard the Battle Mage is pretty fun to work with. Um, what do you think? I'd make that clown my bitch. And then I would kick it with Jacqueline Maccabee of New Jersey. Yeah. Drink a cold one with that mother What? We could say bitch, but not mother Okay, fine. Okay. Not bad. Not a bad answer. I like that. I like Mr. Rash. Okay. Now we got past the questions. I have a few personal. Maybe. Anyway. Uh, personal number one. Can I read the Book of the Dead? Personally. No. I mean, I don't even want to read this book. You want to read this book? No. Wait a minute. No, nobody's reading this, but you're definitely not reading this book, okay? I'm the only one reading this book, and only to put the evil back in its box, so to speak. Got it? So no, you cannot read this book. Hell, got me thinking now. Something's fishy with this guy. Hmm. No, I kind of, I kind of figured so. I mean, I was gonna like do some Death Note type stuff there, but uh. <clears throat> you know, we got a list. Yeah, I have a list. <clears throat> anyway. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Uh, second question. Would you ever work with Bruce Campbell? Of course I would work with Bruce Campbell. <laughs> You're a madman if you think I wouldn't, okay? I figured so. So would I, sir. So would I. Heck yeah. All right, well, I think that's all the questions we have here today for Mr. Rash Ketchum. Again, these are kind of short episodes, give or take. Okay. Um, but we would like to have you, you back in the something. future. Um, you know, not like the killer clown and all. This guy. Something, something's going Bob. on. Bob. I'm sensing um, something. But yeah, you, yeah Mr. Rash, it was it was nice uh, talking with you and I bet you all can feel kind of getting a deeper Dreaming. inside scope of... Well, mm -hmm. Rash Ketchum, uh, the hero, okay. the savior. You, know, you want to go? Dead Vibers. Go. Oh, yeah. go. And, uh, oh, let's do that one. Wait, what what are you doing? Oh, you better. Guys. Fusrunda. Ushunda. Dimatuka. Security. Chinchi Hapupa. What What are you doing? What are you doing? I. I'm not a dead. I'm not a dead biter. Guys, security. Bob. Hey. Hey, Burton. Anyway, guys, that's a, that's a wrap, right? We're done. We done? All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here like Donkey Kong on stick. Get out of my way, Bob.